All right, what's good, everybody? I know I haven't been making videos lately, but let me see if the audio is working. Okay, it is working. I haven't been making videos, but I do have great ideas for marketing for specific companies. Eight Life Path here, and uh, I did notice that I do have a lot of great ideas that sometimes when I have an idea, they come to manifest without even telling people. Uh, like the Left 4 Dead was one, the online for the Super Smash, it was bound to happen because everything was going to online in the two, early 2000s. So it was like the no big brainer. And then the other one, I thought about Doom back in 2015 where I even put it in a comment a long time ago um, that they should include uh, demons that you can control of them like Left 4 Dead, like in a multiplayer case. And then Doom 2016, we got a multiplayer where you get the demon rune and now you can actually play as a demon now my idea for this is kind of like give or take now we're in the era where multi-million dollar companies are not making big graphic games because it's a gamble everybody's getting i'm not saying everybody but most people i'd say probably 50 to 80 percent of the people are getting games on sale nobody's getting full retail price only the people that are quote-unquote um competitive and then they're trying to compete and get everything with other friends or people who want to uh, experience games. Do you still got those people out there? Or the other ones that uh, they're just big fans of those specific trailer games before they come out. People hype it up and they want to get it. Now, indie games have been doing really phenomenally well this past three four years. So companies like Capcom has not seen a downfall as of yet. They've been ignoring Mega Man, and I think that's pissing off a lot of people. Uh, mainly, like p fans like my brother has been getting pissed that they've been focusing more on Resident Evil, and it's understandable. I get it. Like I'm not a big Mega Man fan, but I know where where he's coming from. It's like me with other uh, franchise and companies that are uh, that are focusing on other things, which I'm not gonna name. But a good example for Capcom, of course, is gonna be Mega Man. It's a big title. If it wasn't for Mega Man, maybe Capcom wouldn't have been as great. Most people think it's uh, Street Fighter. But I, in all honesty, I think Mega Man was the one that picked up the Capcom really good back in the late 80s with Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. I mean, Street Fighter 1 wasn't doing too good in Japan. And I think it didn't got released in America. So that tells you something. And... Uh, I would like if they can do a Mega Man top 100 or top 50. I think top 100 would be like, but I would like like a twist. Um, how can I say it? Like the team battle, you know how the arcade, this one right here, you could have two players, right? Maybe they can be game modes, but uh, like this game mode would probably be uh, ideal and amazing. So. All right, so we're going to have even numbers here. So it's going to be 50 versus 50. Here's the thing. Or oh, we can do uh, 2 versus 2 or whatever. The idea here is that we're going to have two people competing with two other people. And if it's going to be a big-ass team, like, you know, on basketball, there's a group of set of players. I forgot how many players there are in basketball versus the other players, 8, 10, or 12, something like that. I'm sorry, guys. I... I haven't been paying attention to sports in a while. Same thing with soccer. Imagine that, but with Mega Man, but you're not going to have everybody like all, all four, six, eight. No, you're going to have two and then separate. And then it's going to be similar to the screens you have there for like the Pac Man 99. Now, Pac Man 99 was like everything, every, uh, every man for himself. Same thing for the Mario 35th anniversary. It was every man for himself. By the way, I got first place in this game. But the competition was getting stronger, and I think uh, by the time this damn game came along, it, the competition was so bad that I just couldn't get first. But anyways, beating a boss will give you a, a like a point, a perk that will make you attack the other side, and then you'll just, you'll choose a specific team. Like just say this is one team, and this is the other team. Like Team Wolf, Team. Uh, Dragon, whatever. I don't know. I'm just putting out stuff out there. There you'll be able to choose which to attack. And then the other player and the other team can choose as well. You'll send stuff like faster enemies. And then how you send, it'll be like a roulette 
that will make it addicting so it's like the you know how the mario brothers 3 you could hit you could get the mushroom you could get the star or you could get the fire flower like it will be similar to that like a roll it and then you'll be sending um like you'll you'll hit three three times or two times you'll hit uh, your friend and, and you and your friend as soon as you kill the boss and then whatever comes out will mix together and then we'll send it to like a specific player that you're gonna choose um that idea would be like spawn like making the enemy stronger double and a double boss instead of fighting one um faster enemy so this game mode would probably be great now we can add like a whole new twist like a whole new game uh say like a level we can do a level similar to mario 35th where you have to from the beginning to the end and then you can get to a boss fight um capcom can do that route or they can just go boss with boss boss and boss and then uh if uh it'll be like the keep going with bosses and then um it'll be like specific uh, all the bosses like the 2d will probably be from Mega Man 1 to 6 and since it shares all the 8-bit uh, graphics it will be like a randomizer and sometimes you could actually have the power up to kill that one so you can actually have a game mode to have like a randomizer and then um, uh, or everybody chooses which uh, specific enemies and then there will be like a cart uh, route like a cart what to choose to so you won't have to like manually see who you're gonna fight it's gonna be random so say everybody chooses eight specific enemies from all Mega Man 1 through 6 right so it's gonna be Iceman and then Fireman I'm just giving out then Centaur Man I'm like but then you gotta have a weakness for the opposite one or maybe there won't be any weakness so there will be a, like a popular boat to send to the other team you'll choose like 12 um, and then those 12 they'll keep rotating over and over and over same for this side of the team they'll choose 12 um, and then uh, there will be game modes like sudden dead well there you're gonna be fight like a mini boss fight like the dragon or or, or you can fight widely it all depends like there will be events and randomizations uh, as it go along with the game especially when it's you're heading almost to the end of winning uh, it's like to get it more intense um, because if you would uh, have the power to choose that will make it uh, you won't get that dopamine like that big thing of what you're gonna get like you want to make it gambling so you can actually choose or you can make it make the computer choose um, automatically and then for one team where they're gonna get like the specific uh, enemies the other side's gonna get it as well but like I said everybody's gonna choose different so it's like a card you choose one ah so not necessarily you can actually specifically choose that uh, robot but everybody's gonna get a set of robots that are gonna be uh, quote-unquote the same if that makes sense like Iceman, both are, are gonna fight Iceman eventually, but like you'll be able to get a card and then choose, and then uh, you're gonna have uh, Mega Man and Bass, or you're gonna have Mega Man and Proto Man, and then as game goes along, they can add more um, characters, DLCs, and they can pop up more stuff, more skins and stuff, uh, specific stuff like that that Capcom can actually pump up in a game that probably won't cost a lot of money to make. Uh, just great ideas like these that uh, can make it very fun and addicting and uh, right now the Nintendo switch online In my opinion, it's not doing good, but it's not doing bad like the estimations could be a lot greater and of course the 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 online feature will probably help and be in all consoles, but the one that would probably help the most would probably be Nintendo because uh, Nintendo has been focusing a lot on these uh, competition games. As far as I know, I haven't seen anything similar to this on Xbox and PlayStation. I can be wrong, but if they can make this feature and make it a trending, they can make other games. And then uh, once Mega Man or Capcom announces this type of game, 
if they make the if they decide to do one like Mario uh, Mega Man 40th anniversary because they had the 35th on 2023 which was last year and they didn't make because they didn't make the game because they're focusing too much on Resident Evil um, and Street Fighter so if they can make something like this and the upcoming uh, future it will probably be an amazing thing and uh, I got an idea for uh, Legend of Zelda as well, but that's gonna be another video. But for Mega Man, this is this this, this it's not like really copying because the Mega Man and the Pac Man, I mean the uh, Mario Brothers and the Pac Man, was like every man for himself, and you gotta reach number one. For the Mega Man idea, it's gonna be a team based. You're gonna have two people, and then you're gonna have like two people, a guy fighting against. The rest of the other team or two people um there's gonna be two people two people they're all gonna be <coughs> on the same team fighting the other team and then whomever team wins uh wins they don't have to fight each other just this team wins so the matchup will go faster i think that route will probably be better than like going one last man for himself for like two teams uh fighting uh, the session won't start until you have a set of two teams, or you can have only one uh, team like Mega Man fighting the the bad guy, and everybody will be alone, but with a team. So they will, will like change it up, and then there will be other events as well, like like um, not tournament, like duo mode. Well, duo mode will probably be like fighting against four other people, well, three other people, and then it's maybe four players in total. And then it will be every man for himself will probably be like something that people compare very close to Mario 35th or Pac-Man 99. Because uh, if you would add a shit ton of flares, man, and adding the features of finding the bosses, it would take longer time than Mega Man and Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man 99, you can finish a session in like 2 to 8 minutes. 8 minutes will probably be like 8-10 minutes will probably be tops. Mario 35th around the same time frame, 2 to 10 minutes, or probably a little less or more. So, you don't want something that can take a long time. So, you want something to 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 well, move forward fast. Uh, so, if you have going to have a top 99, like one person against the other ones, and then choosing specific players, it will be f taking forever. Like, if you're, they're going to be every man for himself. I think four, six, or eight people would probably be an ideal, but over that eight, nah, it's, it will be, it will be a mess in my opinion. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Um, my idea for Capcom, if they ever decide to actually make a Mario, uh, Mega Man, sorry, 40th anniversary. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this video. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.